Hello again. Welcome to part 3 of using Cashly. In this video I plan to show you how to use offline mode features. Offline mode is great if you're going out somewhere where there's a poor data signal and you're not going to reliably be able to download caches whilst out and about. Or if you simply don't want to use up your data plan uh, when you're out. Um, what you can do is you can download the map and you can download the caches for the area you're going to plan to visit um, before you head out so that when you get there uh, all the caches you can use when you're out see all the details, see all the pictures whatever you want to download and you don't have to use any data at all. Right, so how do we actually use offline maps? First of all, we click on the Sheets icon at the bottom centre of the screen, and that gives us the download offline maps. We'll click on that, and it loads up the various areas. So for Great Britain, we go to Europe, scroll down till we find Great Britain, and then we can either download the whole country, England, Scotland, Wales. These are using countries as per ground speak, so Northern Ireland is found under Ireland. So let's say I'm going to the Peak District, I want to download England, and that'll go off and download the map. Okay, so that's downloaded the uh, England maps. It didn't take long, but there was no point showing you the downloading. Um, that's only that taken up 360 meg, you'll notice. So it doesn't take up much space on your phone, which is great. It uses a technology called vector mapping, just to keep the file sizes small, but yet it uses incredibly detailed maps. We come back out of that, we come back to the offline map page, and now we have under, at the top here, under offline maps, we now have England, Great Britain. So we'll select that as our map type, and we have a little tick there indicating that's the map. Now when we close, we go back to the uh, the map. Notice it's redrawn, and because I'm in Scotland and I've chosen to use the maps for England, there's no background for the maps of, of Scotland. Um, also notice down at the bottom centre there, you've got the three sheets icon. Now has a little line through it to indicate that this is an offline map we're using. I am, I'm planning to go on holiday to Whaley Bridge, so let's search for caches in that area. Whaley Bridge. Search. And off it goes and moves it to Whaley Bridge. And there's the icons of Whaley Bridge and now we've got the map background because we're now in England. Um, this area has a lot of letterbox caches nearby. It's obviously, uh, they're the light blues. Uh, it's got the green icons which are um, traditionals and the dark blues with the red triangles those are puzzles and they've got red triangles because I've solved the puzzles already. Um, if we refresh we get more icons and refresh again and it zooms out and gives us more and as you can see there's a lot of letterbox caches in this area. Okay that'll do for uh, a list of caches at the moment. Um, and now I'm going to save them to an offline list. So up in the top left there is a three dots button. We click on that and save to offline list. We'll save all the visible caches and I haven't got a list on this phone at the moment so we click the plus and give it a title. I'm going to call this Whaley Bridge. Oops, Bridge. Okay. Now, once you've given the cache a name, you've got options. There's 200 caches I'm about to save. We can choose the light data, which is just the name of the cache, the size, that sort of thing. Doesn't include the description, doesn't include the hint, doesn't include the logs. Personally, I think that's a waste of time. I'd far rather have the full cache data, so I would always usually choose full cache data. And there we can choose whether or not to download the images or not. In this case I won't bother. I'm just going to download the descriptions, the logs, the hint. Normal things you would need for going caching. So, 
we'll save that and it downloads the caches and I'll actually let this run because it doesn't take very long at all um, typically if you're going out um, to do a, a bunch of caches you can download this depending on your internet speed and it takes a minute two minutes max I've downloaded 500 odd caches before of an area and it takes almost no time at all so there we go it's downloaded half of the caches already 150 almost finished and once that finishes that will have downloaded all the descriptions all the logs um, for the caches and you'll be good to go notice with the um, the maps once you've downloaded them once you don't have to download them every time that was it you, on the old apps every time you went caching you had to download the caches you had to download the maps it took forever. Here we've now downloaded all of those caches and we've got them saved in a list. You can also get caches offline from bookmark lists and pocket queries. So here we go, we've got bookmarks and pocket queries by clicking on the, the more button. Go into pocket queries and you can see I've got numerous pocket queries. Um, I set these up to download periodically. Um, they all happen to have downloaded today, or one of them, um, which means I've always got pocket queries ready for caches in my local area. Um, if we click on one of them, it will download the 230 caches, and it will save that in the pocket query list. settings I've got set up is to download the images with the pocket queries so it downloads them as well and as you can see it's downloading them fairly rapidly onto the phone. There we go, pocket queries downloaded. We now go back to the offline button at the bottom we can see the map, that's the last list we looked at. If we go back we can now see we've got two lists the Whaley Bridge caches and my North East Scotland caches. Now of course we don't have the background map because I haven't downloaded the Scotland background map but um, you know you can download all of the maps for any country you like and then use that. Other thing if we go back to the more button and come back out of pocket queries we've got bookmarks so we can go to bookmark lists and this is loading um, bookmarks from uh, the geocaching.com website. So there's a bookmark list of caches that I might like to tackle when on holiday. And you can see that I've got virtuals and webcams and puzzles and uh, things like that because that's the kind of caches I like. And um, I've made a little list of them. So I can just go and save that bookmark list click on the three button, three dots at the top, save to offline list, I'll save all the visible caches, we'll give it a name, holiday, save, and same as before, it downloads the caches. Normally I would download the images as well, but for demo purposes I'm not going to. And so that's downloading offline list caches. Um, you can download them by searching, you can download them by pocket queries, you can download them by using bookmark lists. Of course pocket queries and bookmark lists are a premium feature, you only get that if you're a premium member on geocaching.com. Okay, so that's everything for offline lists. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in part four where I shall be looking at logging caches, trackables and all that sort of things. Thank you very much. Goodbye.